everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a zip... Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie, in case you didn't know, please subscribe to my channel if you did not know that I'm Katie to see more exciting videos like this one. So today I'm doing a review and haul on Gymshack. So my overall experience with them, what I thought of the website, what I thought of the products, and they're honest reviews, it's not sponsored, that I've spent my own money to buy these clothes, so I'll let you know what I think. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So all together I've got 10 pieces to show you. Um, they go into about four or five different outfits, and they're all different colours, all different um, sections of Gymshark, and we'll just see what you think. I've got one on now in case you didn't notice. So. Um, to start with, their website was excellent, very easy to go around and buy, which we love. I love an easy website, I love it when it's laid out, it's really easy to find exactly what you want. The sizing on there is kind of weird, like I really didn't know what size to buy. Now I'm a UK 10 to 12, I really really vary depending on where I shop. I'm 5 foot 10, so I'm quite tall, I'm kind of just like my normal everyday size like I would say but I don't know so basically I, so I decided to do this haul because this Gymshark haul because obviously on Instagram we just see so much Gymshark stuff thrown in our faces if you follow any sort of um, fitness bloggers or inspiration people and 99% of the time those people are paid to tell us about those products and they may be giving us a completely honest review but I just wanted to see for myself what these products look like on a normal regular girl who goes to the gym like four or five times a week looks after herself but enjoys a chocolate bar and a cake most days too there's nothing wrong with that okay i'm not getting paid by gymshark to look like that it's probably why i don't look like that but there we are um so yeah i just wanted to give you an honest review of them um buy their products to see what they were like see what the sizes fit like see how the materials were see what the quality was like because i would say it's about average range for gym wear like you can get cheaper but obviously you can get way more expensive so i say it's the middle of the range for pricing i th actually think everything that i've tried on today has been quite good quality i've been quite impressed by the quality um there's been a few things I think just one sports bra actually that you could see the cups through which I thought cheapened the look obviously quite a bit and I think one pair of leggings that unfortunately I could see my knickers through and this made me quite sad because they're my favourite pair probably the only pair that I actually wanted to keep so I don't know whether this is down to maybe I bought a size too small or I just need to find more appropriate knickers to wear with the trousers but either way I'm going to go through the outfits now I'm going to show you what I got, I'm going to give you my honest reviews and feedback. Let's get started! The first outfit that I'm going to show you is a pair of black, I'm just going to read it out because I can't remember because the name is quite long, black seamless energy high waist leggings and these are in a size small. They were £42 and the top is an energy seamless crop vest. It's in a size small as well, and this was £30. Now, I would say this is um, Gymshark's new range, the seamless range, and I thought that they were nice quality. They were very high-waisted, which kind of almost made my stomach poke out because they were so high-waisted, even though I'm tall and I've got long legs. So for someone who's shorter, I don't really know how you'd wear these. Like, I think you'd struggle a little bit because unless you rolled them up or something, because the length on them was great, the thickness was great, but they were very high waisted and what I would say is those little like holy bits at the side it sounds like a great idea but like if you're putting them on a rush they're gonna rip they are gonna rip and I'm heavy handed so they will be going back the sports bra I liked but again finished in like a funny area for me like I have a little bit I'm just gonna try and show you oh I can't get back far enough oh ooh. like I have my little mini roll like under it's like my my boobs stop here and then i have a i can't i can't get back far enough to show you here i have this little and it's really hardly nothing and you're probably like mm, there's nothing or you might be like yeah okay you're a whale either way i have this roll sort of there and it's not really there that much unless something accentuates it 
and it accentuated it. So let's, needless to say, we don't need accentuate, I can't even speak. We don't need that area to be accentuated anymore, okay? Basically, that's it. So they'll be going back, unfortunately, although I did think the sports bra was a lovely fit. Um, I really like the back of the sports bra, and I did think it was quite secure, which was nice. Other than that, it's a black sports bra for 30 quid. I, I just, I just don't really know. It was thick. It was average. The second outfit that I'm going to talk to you about is the ombre seamless sports bra in peach coral and the flex crop leggings, both in size smalls again. The sports bra was £28 and the leggings were 30 and they're both in peach coral and on the website, like it's probably my eyes wishing they were pinker, but like on the website I thought they looked really pink and when they came they're very orange, like quite bright. And I kind of think maybe they look better on someone who was more tanned, maybe darker skin, because on someone who's fair and blonde, they're very, very bright and very, very like in your face. And for me, it was a bit too much like, look at me. And like, I don't want to blend in. I want to look nice and stand out, but in my own style and in my own way, not as in I look at me, I've worn the brightest thing in the gym so you can all look at me. And I felt like it was very attention seeking outfit personally. I mean, I'm sure many girls, it looks great on, maybe someone who's a bit shorter than me. Again, because I'm tall, I already feel like I stick out like a sore thumb when I go some places, so I don't really want to be like jumping around in the brightest outfit either because I don't really normally wear bright colors and I generally just thought this was like a nice shade of pink, but it's not, it's very orange. Like, I know coral is orange, but sometimes coral can be a nice pinky orange and it's more of an orange, orangey orange. Um, so yeah, other than that, didn't really have a lot to say about it. The leggings, actually, I do think are quite flattering. Um, they're quite a thin material, a lot thinner than the seamless ones. A lot thinner material. Um, but I like the way the bum sits. It does make your bum look quite a bit perkier than, you know, normal, normal leggings. So the next outfit we've got to talk to you about is this black crop top. And I really, really like this on the website. I saw it for ages and I kind of wish I got the black shorts that went with it because I think they would look really cute. But I have black shorts that are quite similar and I didn't feel the need to get another pair of black shorts when I've got a pretty good pair of black plain gym shorts. So yeah, this I really like. But again, I think it's going to sit just above my little roll line that we don't want it to sit with. So, so the next outfit we've got, sorry, the Vital Seamless sleeve crop top in pink and peach marl and then the flex leggings with peach coral oh so i really like this crop top it's still a bit brighter pink than i would normally go for so i probably won't keep it because it, i don't think i'll wear it um you have to wear a sports bra under it which is a bit irritating because it feels like it should be like supportive but it's not um but overall i like it as a top as long as you've got high enough waisted leggings to wear with it, you'll be fine. Um, unless you've just got a cracking set of abs, then just get them out. Lucky you, I wish I did. Um, and the, the leggings, I like the leggings, but again, the colour, just too bright. Really flattering on the bum, nice and long for us tall girls, but £32, I think is actually an affordable price for those leggings but I don't think I'll be keeping them because of the colour. I saw online, they do them in, I think in black, and, oh no, they do them in a grey, sorry, and they do them in a khaki, and I actually think the khaki green would be amazing in them, and with this, this crop. I think that would be a really nice set. I think the matching sets, personally, I'm not a matchy-matchy person, I'm more of like a, what's it called? pick a mix. I'm more of a pick a mix girl. Um, I think it was too matchy matchy as well for me. I'd like to maybe put like a black with a khaki or like a cream with a khaki. I think that would look lovely. I think the brightness of those is just a bit much for me. Yeah, I think I got that point across, didn't I? <laughs> so the fourth outfit I want to talk to you about is the Vital Seamless Sports Bra in Sand. Now this I had to order in a medium because I didn't have any smalls left. And I would say it's actually a little bit big, which I'm a bit devastated about because it's my favourite sports bra of them all. I've got it on under here. 
and it, it's not like uncomfortably big but it's just probably not like I haven't got that much to support but if I did it wouldn't be very supportive so and then I'm a 10 on top and that's a small so like I reckon girls that are like six to eight are gonna struggle to buy on here yeah because that's it's quite big um and the vital seamless long sleeved crop top which is this one I'm wearing right now which has got these little funky little thumb holes oh sorry so is the other one the other crop top like this the pink one has these little thumb holes too which I wouldn't wear they'd annoy me so you could just keep them there I guess doesn't make a difference I like this it's nice and plain simple neutral looks like classy my cup of tea tick 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 definitely like this one and the fit leggings so I've got these in a taupe sand and these are so small and I don't know if these are see-through because they're a bit small for my bum or if they're just the materials a bit see-through but I absolutely love them this outfit, I'm just going to show you quick, is my all time fave. Like, this is me down to a T, but unfortunately, balls, they love the see through. And I like, I justified it to myself that I was buying new gym wear because I was sick of having see through leggings. So you can see my bum when I bend over. I just feel like maybe it'll be dark in the gym and I'll wear them and it's fine. I do go to the gym early some days, like 6am, so... Yeah. Maybe I'll order them in a medium. And if I still see through then, then they're a no-go, which is a shame. But otherwise, they, they do feel lovely. Like, the material on these is like velvet. They've got a little sticky... Oh, I have to show you again, sorry. They've got a little sticky like band, I don't know if you can see it, oh, around the waist here. So it actually holds them up, which is amazing because there's nothing worse than when you're working out and literally they're flying down. And every single baby, you're yanking them back up. It drives me bonkers. And it happens to me all the time because I've had most of my gym clothes since I was like, I don't know, since I joined the gym in like 2013. But to be honest, only really like this year I say I've taken the gym seriously so yeah so I thought it was time to invest and I do like their stuff I think it's just maybe the things I bought when my style so maybe maybe I'll just be a bit more picky on there but I would say like a small fits me which is a 10 to 12 normally I'm a medium most places sometimes I can even be a large so that's what I can say really about the sizing. It was very like, everything fit, but it's all stretchy. So of course it's gonna fit. And the only thing I would say is like these, which is a shame you can see my booty through them. Um, other than that, like the delivery was fast. It was two or three days, although Royal Mail effed it up and I didn't get them for a week because it was bank holiday weekend and that's why I'm late filming my haul. But anyway, we've got them now, it's all that matter. So, yeah, so Gymshark, I'm going to rate you out of 10. I'm going to give you an 8. I think that's quite nice. Because, yeah, I'm going to give you an 8. Like price, quality, sizing, delivery, 8 out of 10. So yeah, that's my honest review of Gymshark clothes. Um, I got a range of all the clothes to show you which I thought was very useful <laughs> because when you go on there there's so many different types of leggings and types of things you're like oh what do I get it's a little bit not overwhelming but it's a little bit like oh I don't know so I always think the best thing to do is buy a lot send it what you don't want back rather than keep buying waiting buying waiting buying waiting so that's the end of my Gymshark haul for you today I hope that you found the information in this haul useful and I hope that if you were thinking about buying a pair of Gymshark leggings or a top or a crop or whatever then I hope you found my information informative and if you did or you already shop with Gymshark and you have a favourite set can you let me know your favourite like top or bottoms or what's your favourite Gymshark item that you've got down below in the comments or if you're thinking of buying some and you found this video useful then please give it a thumbs up so if you enjoyed this video then Please subscribe to my channel, 
click on the alarm bell button as well so you'll be notified when I make new videos and you won't miss any of my new content because right now I'm just loving producing the content for you guys. I also really want to know like what you want me to produce on here. At the minute I'm just having fun, like loving life, making content. But if there's anything you want to see, then please leave me a comment and let me know. Or my email is down below as well. So please feel free to send me an email. Also, lastly, go and follow me on Instagram because I have lots of little giveaways on here now and then. Actually, I have a giveaway coming up. I think it's tomorrow or the 1st of June. So, follow me over on Instagram to see about that giveaway. And I hope you enjoyed this video as I love you all. And we'll stop saying and. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Lots of love.